Devin Haney is at the top of the lightweight division. Every single belt that matters belongs to him. And you don't get there by luck and you don't get there by chance. You get there through hard work and dedicating yourself to mastering your craft. Devin Haney is a man that's done just that. And the main tool that he's used to go on this run to 29-0 and undisputed champion of the division is the jab. It may be the most basic punch in boxing, but it can also be one of the most dominant. Now, Devin Haney has truly mastered the jab. He's very tall, very long for the division, and utilizing that jab the way he does plays right into his natural strengths. He's able to keep his opponents at a range where they can't hit him, and he is just tattooing them with shots. That jab is so sharp, it's so crisp. When he leads with it, it quickly becomes the central theme of the fight. He's using it to dominate the action, to win the rounds, and his opponent has to account for it anytime he tries to get anything going. Now let's take a look at his first fight with Cambosis. Just an absolute masterclass on the jab. Now they're both listed at five foot nine, but Haney's got the reach advantage, and even though it's only two inches here on paper, man, you watch this fight, it sure seems like more than that because the way that he's able to utilize that reach, you'd think he's got like an eight inch reach advantage. But from the first time the bell rings, soon as this first round opens up, all the way until the end of the fight, Devin is just sticking that jab in Cambosis' face, keeping him at a distance that he doesn't want to be at. Haney pops it out there, and it's not just that, he's immediately able to get back to distance. He's so smooth, so polished. He typically is fighting with that lead hand low, really loose, and he is able to get that jab out there from angles and at a speed that is just really hard to deal with. He scores the points, and he is still able to maintain his defensive responsibility. That is one of the things that is just so beautiful about it and so key. It's not just about landing the jab, it's about scoring the points, landing the jab, but he still maintains the defensive responsibility. And that just leads to the type of exchanges we see here, man, where, where Devin's able to go out there, he's able to take the lead, and by the time Cambosis is able to come back with that counter, Haney just makes it look easily. He just makes him miss and makes it look easy when he does it. He gets his shot off, and he's nowhere to be found. Man, there are a few things more frustrating than that for a fighter. Look at the way he just steps in here, lands his shot, and then he easily backs out when Cambosis tries to return fire. Right here, lands the jab, steps back, dips to avoid the counter, and then just lands a beautiful counter uppercut of his own. Look at that shot. The skill that he shows there, just in those small moments, just in those exchanges, it's on another level. And one other quick way that he uses it that I want to highlight here is as a counter. Now, it's not your typical counter that you think of that takes place after the action. He actually uses this counter while to counter what his opponent is going to do. He's shooting it to completely throw off his rhythm. Perfect example here in the fifth round, fifth round against Cambosis. Cambosis starts to faint, uses a little bit of head movement. Now, that is how he starts to build into his attack. But the second he starts to move, Haney just shoots this jab out here lands beautifully but more important than that it forces cambosis to completely reset completely throws off his rhythm whatever he had planned it's out the window now he is right back at square one at that distance that he doesn't want to be at it's just beautiful work by haney the way he's able to completely control his opponent with the jab not only is he's maintaining the range maintaining the distance using it to lead now he's using it to counter beautiful stuff and one of the last moves that i want to highlight here it's not so much the use of the jab but it's the clinch, and it's the way that he uses that clinch as part of his overall strategy that just fits in perfectly with the jab. So he uses that jab to control everything. He's controlling the timing, controlling the distance, keeps his opponent at a nice long range, and that forces his opponent to get aggressive to try to get inside. And then Andy's just able to stifle him with that clinch, man. And the beautiful thing about it for him is that not only does it not allow his opponent to get off, but the ref comes in and breaks him, and he resets them right back to the distance that Devin prefers. He can get right back out there, get right on that stick, get that jab working again. Look, he clinched Cambosis something crazy in this first fight, man. It was something like 50 clinches or something, something like that. I mean, it, it was just absolutely ridiculous. But at the end of the day, it worked. It's within the rule set and it works. It allows him to get his offense off and not get caught with any of those counters that's coming back. Now look, it doesn't take long to see the Devin Haney's jab is an absolute work of art. He uses it to maintain the range and the distance that he wants. He controls the pace of the fight. He's able to win rounds with it. And the other thing to remember, 
is that the entire time that he's doing this, he's also stifling his opponent's offense, disrupting his timing. That is what the sweet science is all about, man. Hit and don't get hit. And nobody does it better than Devin Haney with the jab. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. In your opinion, is there anybody out there in boxing right now that has a better jab than Devin Haney? Or is he at the top of the mountain peak?